Hey guys, it's Max Edelson, Fire Speaking. Here we are in front of a cabin stove that we built during a workshop this summer. Um, I'm gonna make a little fire in it and just talk through. I'm opening the bypass damper. Uh, that means that the smoke can go up and pretty much straight to the chimney. So let's see, I'm gonna make kind of a, as if it was a top down but slightly sideways fire. So I'm putting my biggest pieces on the bottom and then Gonna work in some smaller stuff, and then actually build my fire towards the throat. Is actually a slot in the side towards the back. Um, there we go. Put some small stuff. It's really important to have seasoned dry wood. Season means that it's it's been drying itself of its of its greenness for at least a year and then that it's dry, that it was stored in a dry place. And all these are efforts to make wood burning um, an, both an efficient and a sustainable heat source that burns very cleanly. So you should see as this takes off that uh, we get really a hot fire, which is a clean fire. And then we'll talk a little bit about the way that the heat moves through it. So I'm gonna go ahead and light it now. I'm gonna shut off any air from the ash box, which is also providing secondary air at the front of the fire box. So right now, you're getting all primary air. Um, there is a small internal heat riser that it's wrapping around into. This is an example of the evolution that's going on in the rocket mass heater world of um, batch box designs. We kind of call this the sidewinder because it's it's entering into the heat riser. It's a short heat riser that's inside there and then hitting the top of the, um, the flue. I'm gonna go uh, ahead and close this a little bit because it should even pick up the combustion. I'll just give it, oh, I'll give it about the second notch of air. And um, pretty soon here, I'm gonna close the bypass, which is gonna send the heat, uh, rather than going straight into the chimney, it's gonna send it down an internal chimney here, out into the bench, around, and then back up there. So um, there hasn't been a fire in this for 12 hours and I can feel a nice radiant warmth from it still, which is great. Um, yeah, our fire's taking off. And what's nice about a top down, or in this case kind of a sideways fire, is that you're not putting cold fuel on top of your fire. So it's, it's gonna be burning clean consistently. As the fire takes off, I'm going to shut down the primary and give it mostly secondary air by closing that and having this on the second notch. And I'm going to go ahead and close the bypass damper so it takes the longer path. The bypass damper is a valve right in there. Great. Um, yeah, and this is a cooktop. It uses a uh, a German technology of these rays to help it expand and contract without warping. And uh, all of this metalwork uh, I've been making in our shop, uh, custom at this point, we hope to offer it for other people. And uh, the plans are available through our website, firespeaking.com. And we hope to have other people innovate and learn from them. And be uh, amongst others communicators in this evolution and um, of knowledge of clean burning efficient stoves using a local renewable resource which is wood as its fuel all right